Yes, I mean, I think um, when production companies decide where they're going to go and base their production, um, they look at the whole package. It's not just one thing. So they'll need to find, primarily it's going to be locations which would be completely script driven. So the script will bring them to an area. Um, and then they will look at what else they can do whilst they're here. So if they can find the locations, they can find an office or offices for them to use. They can find build space if they need to build sets. They've got a fantastic local crew base and they have accommodation galore. They can have very um, sort of slightly more refined accommodation perhaps in Bath, a little bit more private for the stars. Um, and then in Bristol you have the very big business hotels that can accommodate crew and all the others. So uh, I think it's the whole package. It's never just one thing. It's, it's always a, an amalgamation. And I think I used the analogy earlier of it being like a jigsaw. You're fitting pieces into the jigsaw puzzle. And if you can get five or six pieces fitted in quite quickly and easily, then you're really on the way to, to making a successful production. I suppose in terms of uh, subject matter, the, the big attraction of having something operating between Bath and Bristol is you could offer all sorts of sets and scenery, can't you really? You've got George and Bath, you've got industrial Bristol, amazing countryside around both cities. Yes, exactly. I mean, I um, it, you, you have a sort of circumference. If you can think of the bottle yard sitting in the middle, then you have a radius around that of maybe half an hour, which is pretty, pretty much as far as productions will want to travel to go to location each day. Um, so that encompasses actually an awful lot of both Bristol and Bath. Uh, and you have, as you say, the cross-section of locations. Um, I think we're also finding that a lot of the smaller villages um, just outside Bath, perhaps just touching into Wiltshire, are providing a lot of um, sort of location-friendly sites that they can film in. Um, and that seems to be what production companies need at the moment. It seems to be the flavour of the month. There's a lot of period production being made. So, of course, we're going to, you know, we're going to be able to accommodate an awful lot of that. Bath and Bristol looking for sources of revenue. Um, the movie industry is, is something that you obviously consider worth tapping in, in a big way. Yes, it's huge. Um, and it's not only it's not only revenue, it's profile as well, of course, which then hopefully will bring in more tourism, etc., etc. But revenue from the film and television industry, I think there's a, a sort of average that a, a television company spends on a sort of mid-range series spends about 20 to 25 thousand pounds a day when they're filming. So that is not only obviously you know money spent on cameras and all the very sort of nitty gritty stuff, it's also spent on hotels, on taxis. You then have the wider benefits of local crew being able to spend money, go out to eat locally, um, take their children out to local attractions, all that sort of thing. So the ripple effect, it's not just about money that's coming in for one specific production, it's then the ripple effect that it's going into the economy, they're employing local people who can then spend money locally. And uh, you know, it, it is a, it's a very, very well known and very tried and tested thing, the amount of money that, that comes in. You're very keen, if you can, to promote the various film offices and, and maybe in a way bring them together. Yes. We've, um, we're hoping, we've got a, a scheme in with the Local Enterprise Partnership. This site needs some investment. They're old industrial buildings, they're not television studios. Um, we need to get some you know, major works done to them. But in line with that, in order to drive productions here, we then need to be able to accommodate productions when they are here in terms of the service that we give them. And because the boundaries are so sort of close to us here with Bristol, Bath, North Somerset, South Gloucestershire, we really want to be able to promote all the four counties, the members of the Local Enterprise Partnership, to be able to really have a voice in terms of promoting themselves and being able to market themselves on a wider scale so that we have a, a joined up service uh, that markets itself very, very strongly, but retains that very, very important local expertise which the individual film offices give. You know, we can't possibly ever think that we could do without a bar film office uh, or a Bristol film office because we need that really, really honed local knowledge and expertise. But they need help in terms of the marketing and the profile, and that's what we're hoping will come through the Local Enterprise Partnership.